So we are currently in the parking garage of the Tampa Bay Convention Center. Yep. It's our first time going to a horror convention. I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. We've been to many like Comic Cons. Lots of cons. Not a horror con. Not a horror so con. I'm thinking it's similar but different. We got a couple things going on today. Yep. A, it's our first time at a horror convention. B, we're filming our first time at a horror convention. C, you are on assignment today. I am on assignment with Creepy Kingdom, and we're doing a creepy quest. So we're yeah. doing a scavenger hunt. So we'll definitely an share interesting that. scavenger hunt. And when that's all ready and up, I'll, I'll post a link and everything like that. You guys should be following our social medias at Marvelous TNG on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, follow our Facebook page. Uh, just look up Marvelous Adventures of TNG or Marvelous TNG, and a lot of it should pop up. But when uh, that creepy quest is ready, we'll definitely post links to the video. But, you should uh, follow Creepy Kingdom on uh, YouTube also. Just though, look up Creepy Kingdom. They You'll do find so it. much fun stuff and I'm really honored to be a part of it. So I'm excited. Alright, let's uh, let's go hike. Let's go do this. Let's see what hike. it is. <laughs> So we got here early enough that uh, it's still fairly dead. I was kind of at fairly the front of the line. Gretchen had to wait in a separate line to get her media pass. And so uh, I'm just kind of doing a circle around right now, waiting for her to wait in that long line to get in. Of course, Gretchen immediately found the coffee shop. I think we're in dire need of the coffee. We just came across the best coffee booth ever. So what are we gonna pick? So uh, he had me. That one smelled. The really peanut butter good. one was great. Toasted macaroon, fantastic. This one was a very butter rum sort of smell. Kill double rum. But uh, the Beetlejuice one, I think I really enjoyed. The butter nut, or the uh, banana nut. You want to get the banana nut? What's it called? Banana nut. Uh, no, do, do, no, the do, do, do. actual coffee. Oh, Morning BJ. Morning. <laughs> the names are fantastic. All right, so what are we getting? Um, well, I think we're going to have to get the Morning BJ. Gonna have, okay. Because we're not mature enough not to get it. So now we're getting, we're getting the coffee ground. What did we got? We got the butter. Uh, morning uh, BJ. Morning BJ. And what's the other one? What's the um, pearl one? The Nevermore. It's Amarado. Amarado. That, oh, I'm so excited to try these flavors. Because as I smell them, they don't smell like they any smell, coffee whatsoever. Well, since we're at a horror convention, they smell like the devil. Good job. Proud of that? Look at him. Look at him. I bet this is how you feel about candy corn right now. Yeah, maybe a little. Oh my God. So cute! Even got bigger so ones. Look at these guys. Giving you dirt. He's like, that's not gonna happen. But this guy right here. This is so stinking cute. You put your finger in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guitar. Look at the detail. The Book of the Dead. It's an evil dead guitar. This is crazy. Look at the detail on that. This is by this guy right here. Find him. He's awesome. Fun. Very cool. The interior work as well. Wow. 
You get the other one? Yeah. That's crazy. Absolutely gorgeous. So what we do in the shadows. So just by happenstance, babe, what did you find? These are really well done. Look at that. Look at Leota. Oh wow. He's my favorite one. The classic stretch portraits. I like the angle that they have on them. Uh -huh. Like they're standing off of the frame. Well, and it's like you're standing on the ground looking up at right. them when they're stretching out. Right. Really Those are really well done. And then we got red from Pirates of the Oh, yeah. New red. New red. New pirate red. Yeah, but not do a not the way And then beyond go all. Alright, it's going. What? Look at this. It... What? what? That is so cool. <laughs> we just bought this morning BJ coffee. It's so good. Oh my gosh! You no, know, I can't go anywhere. They're always videoing me. I, say, I bet. I do I bet. like unicorn. A little? That's nice. I got a horn too. Oh yeah? But we won't talk about it. Oh my. It is natural. <laughs> He's a little anxious. You know what he means. Don't worry, I'm not the last of them either. Yeah. No. Where, where can a guy like you go when you're feeling a little anxious? Right. Just hang out. Don't take some photo. Ah. What is this, a plug so for them? Weird. You know, Juno's the one that sent me down there. Juno, you know, that that lady. I tried to work with her. <laughs> I tried to have a good business. I have different work ethics than she does. Sure, yeah. sure. You know, she wants to be things on her own. You yeah. know, totally to make a fast book. We so, don't go by the books. No, never mind. Never, <laughs> buy, never buy that book either. Absolutely oh, yeah. not. No, it's Very so ridiculous. Cool. It reads like stereo instructions. You know, she helped publish that. Uh, yeah. I tried to throw some uh, chapters in there. No. She wouldn't take any of it. Yeah, no, not, not <laughs> had to make a quick book. Yeah. yeah. How to make a quick dead person. We got Juno on Sunday though. She's, uh, Juno beat, yeah, right. <laughs> She's still smoking heavily. Uh, oh, I'll wait. Right off the neck. Right off the neck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can tell him where to smoke. <laughs> so the con is not incredibly big, which I enjoy because it's actually been going on for quite some time now. Uh, but it's new to Tampa this year. So I don't think that a lot of people that would typically go to the Orlando one wanted to travel all the way down here. And they got a DJ playing. That's what all that music is. So it's incredibly loud. But um, I like how not busy it is because it's hard to go to a con nowadays and have it not, not be busy. Uh, so it's a lot of open space and it's actually very refreshing. Uh, I, we weren't sure what to expect, but this is actually very enjoyable. Tattooed by Satan himself. So you're very intently looking at something. Did you? What did you find exactly? Saint Keanu. It's the worst one ever. But he's still pretty. It is the future's most wanted fugitive. Eesh. <laughs> he's got a little fez. Little fez. Because fezes are cool. It's like a treat. It's a creepy Charlie McCarthy doll. That is so cool. The stuff of nightmares. 
creepily beautiful? Is that the term? Eerily beautiful? I'd go with that. I don't want to touch it because I don't want to move it and break something, but the detail on the inside of this dollhouse is incredible. Look at this thing. Look at that. Look at, look at the puzzle pieces on there. That is really cool. These are made out of the. Uh, oh, oh, this is why you ran over here. Look at this. Look at all that detail. These are cool. Look, look at this octopus. Wow. Man, I'm telling you, Spooky Empire brings the art. Like, wow. This is yours? Yes. This is phenomenal. Thank you so much. These are poison jars. These are gorgeous. Shake them really hard. Oh. Give it Shake it. Woo! Look at that. Oh, fun. Oh, that's cool. These are gorgeous. They're all hand So where can we find them? Scumbags and scumbags and superstars, NYC on Instagram and on Facebook, and we have that website thing as well too. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank it, I thank you. Yeah. You guys have an awesome. Yeah. All right. All of the Godzillas everywhere. From so, like. Do you know the difference between? What's the difference between T-Rex and Godzilla? Okay, so T-Rex has two fingers. Godzilla has five. So when you're when you're pretending. When you're pretending, T-Rex, Godzilla. Gotcha. is meant to be bought and enjoyed. And uh, his artwork, this is Chris right here. Chris's artwork really stood out to me because I like the thick outlines and just the uh, uh, basic colors that he uses. But he also has a line of coloring books here. So Chris, why don't you tell us about your coloring books? So the coloring books, um, a few years ago I did a sample of the Halloween coloring book and it did really well. So I decided, you know, there's a little more interest there than um, I initially anticipated, so um, I was going to do a revamp, kind of super version of that, uh, which is what the Halloween, Halloween book is, and I thought, well, while I was doing that, I would go ahead and do a couple others to go along with it, because I had all this other cool artwork that I'm like, well, what am I going to do with this? So, the Ghoul's Buffet is kind of a collection of all the crazy stuff that's like in my head. It's got space monkeys and ogres and skulls and tentacles because who doesn't like skulls sure. and tentacles um so all kinds of different things zombies the, the things that i like to draw and um the response to it's been really fantastic uh the dinosaurs are uh overwhelmingly like so popular um you know a lot of the adults a lot of kids it really crosses over um but yeah it's it's uh it's something that's really unique. I don't think I've seen anybody else at any of the shows with coloring books. No, this is why yeah, it stood out to me. Yeah, yeah. So, awesome. yeah. so it's been, you know, such a great response. Um, and there's more that I want to do. Uh, but this is just to kind of start it out with the, like the dinosaurs, the Halloween. And of course, who doesn't love Halloween? Right. right. So. Why um, would you be here if you didn't like Halloween? Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> so, um, it's, it's done really well. I mean, the response has been fantastic. So. 
So where can people find you online? Um, at Art of Christmas on uh, Facebook and on Instagram. Um, and yeah, I'm posting all the time, so you can definitely catch me there. And uh, yeah, cool. and at the shows. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the famous Oldsmobile that's in the Evil Dead movies and a lot of Sam Raimi movies as well. It's kind of his signature within his films. And then by the time you got to the third Evil Dead movie, which was called Army of Darkness, the car had essentially transformed into this badass war machine to go against the deadites complete with a shotgun where the side mirror should be Sprites off of anything? Not really. I mean, they're kind of like just zombie-ish. I mean, generic characters, I guess. Um, they got a little bit of like Jack, like face paint. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe. Uh, but you know, just guys with chats on. Okay. Yeah, I, I. Oh, I held him. I made it over the course of like three weeks, so. Oh, okay. I didn't right take on. a ton of time. <laughs> Doing too much story development, I kind of just, I love the theme of this year, so I just sort of did some development. Yeah, well, a lot of the development uh, programming was... No, no, it also... Uh, it's so it's the, it's gotcha. the background, is that uh, from anything like Dungeons and Dragons or anything like that? Uh, no, it's... I mean, it's, no, I mean, no, double, double dragon. It's not, it's sort of just, a, again, a street scene that sort of resembles New york -ish. Okay. Um, I did put in Jack's kind of like original house facade. Gotcha. But I would have to have two. But there's a little like teaser hat. Maybe we'll think we'll look at it. We'll come back later with mommy. Maybe mommy will buy one off. I will see. Maybe later. Samuel, you're gonna bump into that lady. Not nice. Oh. What's that? What's the fun house say? It's a beer house. Beer it's actually house. The, the, it's his original, Jack's original like uh, gotcha. haunted house, the first one he was in in 2000. Oh, is this the boss fight? <laughs> That's all I got to. Oh, okay. <laughs> is everything all kaleidoscopic? It is. It is. Like if I had a little bit of rum in me, these would be a lot of fun. These would be so much fun. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's it's Pennywise and Michael Myers and Jason and Freddy Krueger. This is amazing. It's amazing. 
This is a real taxidermied python. That is scary. What'd you find, babe? I love these old war comics. The sort of stuff that like uh, in anthology shows like Tales from the Crypt are based off of. Tales from the Crypt is actually a comic. So I find these old... Uh, Vaults of horror. Yeah, these old anthology comics of, of what people thought was scary back in the day. And I just love them because the artwork is so unique on a lot of them. They are beautiful. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Ten bucks is pretty good. Vault of Evil. That's it right there. Look at that. I think that's going to have to Look go at that home gargoyle. with us. Look at that thing. Monsters on Monsters the Monsters on the Proud. He's going to give that guy a super wedgie. <laughs> I'm going to give you a wedgie. That's what. That's my monster voice. Oh, okay. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. Check it out. It's actually a slow day, which is cool because we can see a little bit more yeah. of the con. So we've been around the con like a dozen times around the floor. We see and something new every, every time. Every time we make a lap, we find something else that was obscured by people before that isn't now. That's so, true. Catching up on a lot of stuff today. Yeah, and me meeting some really cool people too. Yeah. So I don't know how this video is actually going to turn out because I didn't get a lot of us voice overing sort of things and talking about us a lot of things. I just got a lot of footage of random objects. It's just, that's what a con is though. It's just random stuff. You know, I bought some artwork from an artist and I bought some bow ties which were really cool. Got a couple coasters. I like uh, supporting the independent artists. Uh, and then I got a time lapse of that gentleman who was uh, painting the Beetlejuice. Scott Spillman. Scott, Scott Spillman is his yeah. name. He's really awesome. And, uh, I, I, uh, the passion in his art, like he was talking about it. Yeah. He felt uncomfortable on camera, so we didn't want to film him to make him uncomfortable. We talked to him for probably about an hour. At and least. Yeah. He's a phenomenal artist, and he puts a lot of heart in his art. It's incredible that's a poem. stuff. I'm a poet. But yeah, I think we're, we're kind of done. We kind of showed you guys all of the big exciting things that were happening. We didn't hit up too many panels. We went to a panel uh, for her Creepy Kingdom assignment. Um, it was uh, women in filmmaking, and it was really interesting. I really enjoyed it. Compared and, uh, to a Comic-Con, the cosplay was a little bit lagging. Wasn't a whole lot of cosplay, um, and it wasn't as big. Like, this room would have normally been packed to the gills and there's actually I could probably do a cartwheel if I knew how to do a cartwheel. Yeah so I'm just <laughs> gonna do a pan around right here and show you all of this would be full back behind me. Look how empty these aisles are. Like I granted it is a Sunday. But it's but kind of refreshing because we've been to so many cons where you're just like sardined up with people like a salmon swimming up. So it's like I have room to actually walk around and look at things and talk to people and um, we, we met some really neat vendors that make some really cool art. Yes. So, you know, you'll see that in, in the, the video. video. Yep. Um, but know that like these are these people's jobs. This is their art and, and we want to support artists as best we can. So if we can at least have this video be a highlight for them, you know, then we've done our job. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. And then um, I'll I'll be writing about this at Creepy Kingdom, and we'll be sharing that. And I I got most of my scavenger hunt completed. There are some things that I just couldn't find. Surprisingly enough, I couldn't find any zombies. Like I couldn't find a single zombie, and I'm at a horror convention. Like what is going on with this? No zombies. Uh, one of the things was to have one Joker tell another Joker a joke, but. No jokers. Oh, there's some there's, jokers. There's some jokers, but they were not approachable. Yeah. And they were not within vicinity of grabbing one and grabbing the other one no, at the same time. No, I think there might be two jokers in this whole room, and it was, like, hard to find them. I, mean, uh, I have yet to find a Harley Quinn, which is weird, because usually at a Comic-Con, there's, like, seven. I think we count 350 but, uh, Harley Quinns one time. But Harley Quinn doesn't belong at a horror convention. Har yeah, Har Harley Quinn is not in a horror convention. Um so I would say that I got a solid B plus on my my scavenger yeah. hunt, but I guess James that'll show up on a creepy quest. So you'll have to get into the uh, Creepy Kingdom YouTube in order to see that footage. Um, but I hope that James is proud of the work that I did representing the Creepy Kingdom, and I hope that 
you know, you guys have fun watching it, and that's what we got. Alright, we'll talk to you guys Bye. later. Bye! You guys, thanks so much for making it all the way through this video. It would help us out a lot if you hit subscribe. Hit that like. And ring that little bell. So that you know next time we upload a brand new video. Yeah! Talk to you soon. Bye guys!